Alright guys, we are going to be watching a video Stephen A. Smith and Jalen Williams are going to be debating about who's better, the Rockets or the Warriors. Um, me personally, I would probably pick the Rockets. Um, but I just sent the screen, they have 17 consecutive wins from a 17 game win streak. 34-1 when Harden, Chris Paul, and Clint Capella are all three playing. They're damn near defeated when all three of these people are playing. So let's see what they think. Stephen A., you said on the show yesterday the Rockets are not better in the than the Warriors, excuse me, in any areas. Jalen, you agree with that? Wow, that's a strong statement. Um, while I'm not going to come on this program and be the hot take guy and say the Houston Rockets are going to upset the Golden State Warriors today, I'm not going to do that. I will point out some areas, however, they've become the formidable foe and that they are actually better than the Golden State Warriors. Okay, I agree. They are better. But, um, if they was to play, alright, in a best of seven series in the finals right now, it wouldn't be a blowout by either one of the teams. It'll probably be... I think, I think Rockets will win in a best seven Hmm. Probably game six. I would give it to the Rockets. Um, it might go seven. I'm not sure, but um, I mean, no, I you know, I'll I'll give Golden State the benefit of the doubt. I'll I'll say it'll go to seven, full on seven games. Uh, Rockets wait for Golden State with three. Um, that's probably my pick. Would be the Rockets. They're probably the favorite right now to win the finals against Golden State. Uh, Cleveland's putting up mass numbers, though, with LeBron. Yesterday, last night, they just played, uh, who did they just play? The Nuggets. Uh, LeBron had, I think, 39. So, LeBron's on a good roll. Um, everybody on their team was scoring. Even J.R. Smith was scoring, which in the past two games, he didn't score anything. Um, but a few games before that, he had back-to-back -back double digits. So, let's see what else I got to say. In these phases... Number one, this is the most blasphemous one. It's going to surprise everyone. They're better at shooting the three. They make yeah. almost more than four <laughs> three-point shots per game than the Golden State Warriors, Stephen A. How about this? They're better at getting to the free throw line. That's um, makes and attempts. Getting to the free throw line and their shooting attempts at the free throw line as well as makes is true. Um, three-point, it's debatable. Um... They're one of the best three uh, three-point shooting teams. They take pretty pretty good attempts, um, as well as being the better three-point shooting team. I don't know if I would say that. They have a few good shooters at the three, but if you look at Golden State, you got Kevin Durant, you got Clay Thompson, you got Stephen Curry. Um, who else? Uh, Swaggy P. You have a uh, Draymond Green is shooting threes now. Um, Andre Iguodala, he's also shooting team, uh, shooting threes a little bit. Not as, not as much, you know, he's more of a paint person as well as uh, Draymond Green. They're basically role players, but with Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, and Klay Thompson, it's still, it's still going to stay. How about this? Mm -hmm. They've been better in the isolation game also. Chris definitely, Paul and definitely. James Harden are amongst the best at not only breaking down the defense, but scoring the basketball in isolation situations. And lastly, when you look a little bit deeper into the Golden State Warriors roster, of course they have four All-Stars who are terrific. Iguodala's been a Finals MVP. He and Iguodala, he, he and Livingston have found their footing as yeah, of late. Song, but those two that. guys been up and down. When Draymond Green gets in foul trouble, or if he finds a way to get a technical mm. foul or get himself ejected. Look at that, James Look Harden, a man. little bit closer at the depth they have but up look, front. See, there's Zaza Kevin Durant Pachulia, also pulling. David West, while he's had a no, really good Kevin career, Durant he's a little long in the tooth. JaVale McGee, sure he can play Gidala some quality minutes, David but West. I'm not necessarily relying on him in the big game. And lastly, before I allow you to go, Who's Stephen, like Katie? A, I guess that's they're like... relying on Nick Young to <laughs> play quality minutes. Yeah. I hope that he's able to do so, but I have to wait and see. Me personally, Nick Young is probably going to freeze in the finals. That's me. Um, Don't get me wrong, he's a good player. He's a snitch. 
He's a good player. A little bit. 50 50. Um, he could pull a little bit and got a little bit of a shot, but he was wide open in the corner. Pulled up wide open, nobody near him on the fast break. Steph Curry throws it. He's in the corner, he shoots. Break. If you're playing with Golden State, you can't be missing those wide open shots like that. So, I don't know. They're like, uh, like Jalen Rose said, they're counting on him to play quality minutes. But if you think about it, they're also counting on him to score as well. As opposed to the Houston Rockets, Eric Gordon has been terrific this year. Yes, He's he been has. a sleeper all season. Clint Capella played at an all-star level, putting up a double-double amongst the lead leaders in field goal percentage and rebounding. How about the fact that Je Gerald Green was not in the league? Now he's playing quality minutes, making threes. They mm -hmm. add Joe Johnson. They have defensive toughness with Bob Mute and Tucker and, and, and Trevor Ariza. I think this team, top to bottom, is also better than the Golden State Warriors. Well, first of all, um, <laughs> you know, I smiled, Molly and Max. I smiled and mm -hmm. I laughed because, you know, Jalen, and I mean this affectionately, Jalen Rose is as slick as they come. This brother <laughs> is so smooth. Yeah. You have to pay attention to, to the things says. that he doesn't say as much as the things that he does say. Well, now, the regard I wouldn't say the fact that what he doesn't say, what he says kind of kind of throws it out from what he don't need to say as far as that. Um, as far as that go, Jalen Rose don't got to say much. He puts out the facts, nothing but the facts. Everything else basically speaks for itself as of that point. Regardless of the fact that I know my basketball, let me use a line, Max, that I repeatedly say and I've repeatedly said throughout the years. I am brilliant because I know I'm not. I listen to those who are and I learn from them. Understand that Jalen Rose Every and I go back show. more than, uh, oh, well, not to you, Max. Understand that Jalen Rose and I go back more than 20 years. This brother and I have been talking basketball back and forth for 20 years. Because, see, I remember Jalen Rose when he was on the Indiana Pacers, leading them in scoring when they went to the NBA Finals. Both him and Reggie Miller was averaging 18 points a game. You had Rick Smith. You had Mark Jackson. You had Austin Crozier on the squad or whatever the right. case may be. Here's the deal. I did not mean to imply that there is nothing better about the Rockets to the Warriors statistically because the statistics are there. All you got to do is look them up and see certain categories where they may be better. I'm talking basketball talk. I'm talking about what the eyes see. She's I'm talking about calculating and projecting what we will see when the pressure comes on and it's time to deliver. You can talk to me about James Harden and what he brings to the table. You can talk to me about CP3 and what he brings to the table. And we all know they're surreal, they're superstars, they're future Hall of Famers. I got nothing but love for them both. But I ask a rhetorical question to you, Jalen Rose, Mr. Fab Five, because you'll always be Fab Five to me. Let's be clear, Jalen Rose, what has happened to CP3 when he's going up against Steph Curry? What has Steph Curry does? What does Steph Curry done when he's going? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. If you if you watch like mixtapes of Stephen Curry, uh, his ankle breaker highlights. Uh, Stephen A. Smith, you're on to something, man. You are on to something. So anytime they play, man, Steph Curry, boom, Chris Paul, all over the floor, he just falls everywhere. Um, but. As far as offense, Chris Paul puts up numbers on uh, Stephen Curry. Um, and now you got James Harden and Aaron Gordon. James Harden, I know for a fact, will be able to switch um, on to Curry sometimes. Uh, it depends if Klay Thompson's trying to drive into the rack or something like that. Because um, Stephen Curry... <sighs> Excuse me. Steph Curry has three inches over Chris Paul. Um, if you switch that, James Harden uh, will have the advantage over Stephen Curry as far as height. But then it'll be a matchup issue for uh, Chris Paul and Clay Thompson. So they'll, they'll probably keep James Harden on Clay, Chris Paul, and Stephen Curry. Um, so I don't know. That's that's tough. But I know I know uh, James Harden will be able to score on Clay Thompson. I see that. Going up against his brother in terms of shooting. By the way, when we look at the Golden State Warriors, we see a plethora of individuals shooting some threes. 
None of them are at 40 percent. But we've got three guys on the Warriors who are going to combine to take 50 shots a night, all shooting better than 42 percent from three point range. So we have to pay attention yeah. to that. When we look at isolation, we all know, Jalen, that who's better than James Harden uh, isolation. at isolation yeah. basketball? There's very, very few people that are better. But guess what? In the league right is now, isolation ball only going to beat the Golden Westbrook. State Warriors? Is isolation ball going to be effective against the Golden State yeah. Warriors? That's how I was asking, answering the question. I'm saying when you go up against these now. brothers, all six six and above, lengthy, gets out and defends perimeter shooters and what have you. Help on defense in the interior. We know what happens when they amp it up. Are these guys going to be able to do that? against the Golden State Warriors? My answer is no, which is why I said so I don't give a damn what category. Hold on, Max. What category you pick, it doesn't matter because against Golden State, when it really counts, they will be inferior in those categories to Golden State. That's what I was talking about. Stephen A., you... Okay. That's a good point. Okay. Um, I didn't think about that. I should have. When you have... Uh, the Rockets heating up, alright? They put in work, but then you got the Golden State Warriors. We've seen them this season uh, be down 20, 25 points. Um, the next thing you know, not even at, not even a quarter later, they're in the lead by 20, 25 points. Um, they flip a switch, and they destroy it. Uh, you guys see uh, Oklahoma City versus Golden State. Uh... The first game they played, it was dominant. Russ Westbrook, dominant. Carmelo, dominant. Paul George, dominant. The whole OKC, uh, OKC squad, dominant. They destroyed them. Well, they came back. Golden State came back. Round two, destroyed Oklahoma. Just all I destroyed. And it makes me want to think can they? compete with Golden State on the level of the match they're trying. The first game, you know, it's a cruise, cruise control. The second game, they came in, boom. I'm going to show you guys we're still here. We're the champions, look. Let me prove it. Domination. So, I don't know. Something to think about. Um, but right now, we're talking about Golden State and the Rockets. We'll leave Oklahoma to another video. Um, yeah, man. Uh, we would definitely, definitely be doing more reactions videos. Um, especially a lot on ESPN. Uh, it's fun. <sighs> I'm tired. But, like I said, we will definitely be doing more reaction videos, a lot of first takes, a lot of sports center, all of it, all of it. Um, I love watching this stuff. Um, we definitely got to get into a video with uh, Max Kellerman talking because he does facts. One of my favorite people to watch, him and Stephen A. Smith going back and forth are probably my favorite. Uh, we will definitely be watching a video with uh, Stephen A. Smith and LaVar Ball. Um, he discussed with him about the whole Michael Jordan calling him out, you know, this and that. But, we'll see. Keep Nation's finest. I'll catch you with the guys later. Peace.